Hey there, welcome to Michael On The Go, and I am your host, Michael Giannotti. One drive for business, don't shut it off, addressing enterprise concerns in rolling out OneDrive. So the other day I was talking with a customer, and I have actually another meeting upcoming uh, this next week about this very subject for a large multinational uh, organization in healthcare and life sciences. And their concerns are around rolling out OneDrive for business and having things fall out of compliance around security, inappropriate data being placed there, getting out in the wild, etc. And so in the client that I had talked to previously and the one that I'm going to talk to, there had been discussions and concern around just not enabling OneDrive for business. And, you know, besides the fact that there are a bunch of interdependencies on OneDrive for business within the Office 365 services that, you know, really light up many of those services, things such as Delve, such as, oh, I don't know, Teams and individual chats and attachments and all that good stuff. Besides all of that, OneDrive really is one of those core piece of services that provides a wealth of benefits to an organization. And you don't have to, though, while you're getting your head around all the aspects of OneDrive, you don't have to turn it off. What I advocate, if you're that concerned, if you, ha if you haven't done some of the homework up front and you're just really concerned about information getting out in the wild, et cetera, but you want to allow for the benefits of OneDrive without some of the risks that are perceived in an organization, there's three primary steps that I advocate you follow. Number one is lock it down. Number two, educate. Number three, incrementally roll out new features. So I'm gonna kind of talk through those. I'm not gonna go through ad nauseum all the things that you can do. I'm gonna provide some links within the post that explain each of the areas, so be sure to check those out. Uh, but I'll go ahead and I'll break those down by our primary areas. So number one, lock it down. You know, out of the box, OneDrive for Business provides some ready to use facilities to lock down what you can do. So first of all, you know, from an administrative tenant administrative standpoint, you can go down and lock down the ability to externally share content, right? So that people, if they're putting stuff out there, um, they can't, you know, just because it's out in OneDrive, it would be no more less secure, for example, than a file share or some other uh, shared area that you know in or you know personal share that people are using you can lock it down so external sharing the ability to access content from it from external parties is turned off so go if that's a concern go ahead and do do that that does not lessen the uh, you know the positive impact of users being able to get to their data anytime, any place, any device in a secure fashion, depending upon how you're providing for authentication. So go ahead, lock that down, turn off external sharing to start with, if that's a concern. Number two, oh, excuse me, within that, also within lock it down, there is the ability, you know, some, you, some organizations get concerned around unmanaged devices getting access if it's the user, right? So the user is properly authenticated, but from a non-authenticated, a non-managed device. For example, maybe it's their home computer. And in the method in which you've provided for authenticated access, that machine goes in and now they're gonna sync their OneDrive to that you know, non-managed device. Well, within OneDrive, we can turn that off again. Again, directions down in the links below. But uh, we can go ahead, turn that off so that the users cannot synchronize to unmanaged devices. So now it's only to those corporate managed assets that they're doing that. There's also extended things that we can do uh, within, you know, if you're uh, using Intune, Microsoft's Enterprise Mobility Suite, where we can do things like conditional access, all kinds of goodies there, what they can do from what type of device, etc. But we can go ahead and lock it down. Just, you know, blank it out the box. That's first of all. Second of all, educate people. You know, OneDrive 
oftentimes people start making analogies to shared drives that they share with many other folks. It's not that, it's my documents, it's my content. And as you educate people around that, you know, you want them to understand it's their purse, it's their content that they're storing. Sure, can they share some of that with other users? Yeah, but it's really not meant to be the be all collaborative place. We have teams for that. We've got, you know, file, we have SharePoint team sites and things. If you're going to have many users accessing stuff, we can go ahead and do that. So, you know, educate the users on what SharePoint, excuse me, what OneDrive is and what it's not. We have a wealth of online content that, you know, organizations can take advantage of for training their individuals. We have that through the Fast Track Center. We've got it through some online facilities and with the upcoming, you know, previously announced uh, learning services that are gonna be provided. That's there as well. Again, links below. So take the time to educate your folks. Get, the, get them educated and ramped up on what it is, how to use it, and they're gonna love it because again, it's gonna be a big step up. If you've got those personal share, you know, map drives where they're storing content, it's a big step up from that. It's gonna give them anywhere, any device, you know, anytime access, secure, uh, but, you know, especially if you've got two-factor auth, which I highly recommend, it's gonna provide that. So educate your users, make them love OneDrive. They are gonna start pushing you for external sharing and all that other stuff, but that brings us to the next piece, right? Which is iterative rollouts. So once you've gone ahead, you've rolled out OneDrive, people are storing their documents, you get and move that and shut off those personal uh, map drives so that now they're using OneDrive for that content, which is gonna light up all kinds of stuff and Teams is taking advantage of it, all the good things that are happening. Now, the next thing is people will want to start using it for other things. So as you do so, and you're rolling out policies, there's a wealth of things that we can turn, as we turn on like external sharing, steps to that. What are we gonna allow? Maybe it's a read-only access and then read and write. And provide those things piecemeal, those different features, and again, I'll have links below. But as we do so, we've also been in the back end as a part of that lockdown, been getting our arms around the things we can implement to safely turn those things on in our org. Things like data loss protection, right? Where we can set up rules and policies that will detect PHI data. You know, maybe we want to detect if there's HIPAA data that's being stored and should not be because that's our corporate policy. We can have DLP automatically flag it and then take action on it and do things with that content, right? So leveraging things like DLP, setting up our e-discovery, uh, you know, capabilities so that we're doing things around that, setting up our GDPR policies and being able to go on with GDPR and right to forget and all that and, and being able to set that up. Again, links below. Um, there's also, you know, rights management services where we can do Azure rights management and other things and really get fine-grained permissions, again, through things like Microsoft's Intune Enterprise Mobility Suite. So we can provide very comprehensive right down to the device level security and protection, conditional access, lockdown of data, automatic flagging of data, automatic education po with policies through DLP and stuff. There's a wealth of things that we can do. So as we iteratively roll out those features, we've in advance set up the security and compliance pieces that we need for our organization to be comfortable in rolling those out. Again, it's risk and reward. There's always that balance. The reward is right off the bat, we roll it out, people can get their stuff when and where they need it. On and offline, synchronized content, selective sync, all that good stuff across multiple devices. But we can then iteratively add to that value as an IT shop as we get the policies, procedures, and the different services in place around security and compliance that will allow us to do so in a manner that's in accordance with our internal security folks, legal folks, etc. So, OneDrive for business. A lot of benefits, a lot of great stuff. Take a three-prong approach, lock it down, see the links below. Educate, see more links below. 
and then iteratively add and roll out new features. Again, links below on how to enable that and how to do it selectively. With that, just some food for thought. You want to leverage OneDrive, so do so. If you're concerned about security and compliance, you can do so in a proactive, measured manner that will delight your internal customers as well as set at, mo at rest or set to ease the minds of those in your org who are responsible for security and compliance. With that, this is Michael on the go, bidding you have a great day. Take care and as always, ciao.